The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone, welcome to the free Salesforce career guidance by Interlogic. And let us start the lesson of today on the topic, some important topics of Salesforce. So let's start today's lesson of your Salesforce school. Today we are going to see top five Salesforce interview questions on approval process and how to answer those. We are going to see that also one by one. So let us proceed one by one all the questions. Here is the first question. What is approval process in Salesforce? So approval process is a mechanism by which we can send a request to the senior authority in the company by sending the record through approval process. And on that record, the senior authority can approve, take an approval action or rejection action. Means he can approve that request or he can re reject the request through the process of approval. And this entire process replicates the same real life scenario where actually we send a file to a senior person in the company for taking the permission for taking some kind of action. So this kind of thing we can do by approval process. Let's go for next question. Can we have a multi-step approval process in Salesforce? We definitely have the facility of multi-step approval process in Salesforce. And uh, this way we can actually take the approval from multiple hierarchy in the organization. Uh, like CEO, assistant of CEO, and uh, the vice president, president, or uh, project manager, or team lead. We can traverse to multiple hierarchy and then take a final permission. Let's go for next question. What is initial submission action in Salesforce? So when a user is going to submit a record for taking approval through this approval process, then at that initial level, if you want to take any automated action, then that can be done by initial submitter action. Let's start the next question. What is the meaning of record locking in approval process? So whenever we are working on any record and sending it for the approval process, then the record gets automatically locked during the approval process procedure. And a normal user cannot modify any data in that. This concept is going to happen automatic. This is called as the automatic locking in approval process. Let's go for the last question. What is the approval step definition in Salesforce? Whenever we are going to send the approval from one hierarchy to another hierarchy, let's say, for example, a junior person to the senior person or subordinate of CEO to CEO, CEO or assistant of project manager to project manager. When this hierarchy happens from lower level to next immediate senior level, then that combination is called as approval step. And in that step, we can define various things like, for example, where, which record should be going through this approval. And apart from that, what kind of what kind of person will be the approver for the same? What kind of action we would like to take if the concern approver is going to approve or reject that record? And this way for every step, we can perform this definition. For example, HR, then senior HR, then let's say, for example, HR director, and for example, on top of that CEO. So like this, we can have step-by-step -step multiple approach of completing the approval in the business. And that is possible by approval step definition. All right, guys, that's all, that's all with the five important approval step and approval process related questions. Let's meet in another video for such more important questions for your interviews. Till then, good luck for your upcoming Salesforce interviews.